Now I will talk about the anointing, the importance of anointing for evangelism on a whole. First, as I said earlier, there is need to be an anointing of compassion. That is a gift of God. It's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. That when people have this compassion, when you have the close relationship with God, then God will give you that compassion for people. And I thank God that God has given me that. Then when I go to different countries, when I hear about different countries, know about the needs, I do have strong compassion. So that's the first area that we can have. When we you come to God for, you know, the presence of God, to come to God, to pray to God, uh, for strong presence of God, that will bring you to have compassion. And the heart of God, that you will have the heart that you care about, we care about the kingdom of God, care about people, care about that people will know about Jesus and follow Jesus. So this compassion and the heart of God, one God's kingdom come, one God's will done. So this is the first part. And the second part is the wisdom, actually it's in the whole process of evangelism. The gift of discernment. When you see people, I mean, we, we can discern in a certain way. A sad person, you can tell. I mean, you can look at a person, you can tell he's a sad person. You can tell a proud person, uh, but with the anointing, you can discern what is inside. That takes time. It takes time, but when you spend more time praying, listening to God, then the more you will hear from God and have and understand people's feeling. And, and this uh, afternoon, this lady came to, uh, um, came to uh, the, the apostle's home and then we spent a long time praying. Actually, she came in the morning and afternoon. And I led her in a prayer of enjoying God and just connecting with God for a long time. When you pray like that for a long time, then you get connected and then you would have the, you would feel the feeling of God. And then sometimes you gradually, in the prayer, you begin to see vague visions. <clears throat> gradually you see more and more clearly. And sometimes you hear, you know, ideas come into your heart. Uh, like I told you about when I pray about the airplane, that the thought came to me. So thoughts came by self, not by our thinking. And you pay attention to that. Gradually, you receive more, you discern what is from God, the voice from God, and discern the feeling of your body. Now, she has this gift when someone is in pain in a certain part of the body, she will feel it. Some people have this gift. And sometimes you just, the ideas just come to you. I have many times, I saw a person and it just, the right word came out. The person has burdens, but, but I won't say it like this. I would say, yes. when we have burdens, we can come to Jesus and He cares about us and we take away the burdens. I would say it in a loving way. That's also anointing. The anointing to say it in a loving way. Instead of saying, yeah. God will take away your pain, your burden, yeah, that's one way to say it. But another way is saying, God knows our pain, our suffering. God cares about us. Oh, Lord Jesus, come. Take away our burdens. Comfort our heart. Soothe our pain. That way, you are saying it in a loving manner that people can sense the love of God in you. So that's also need anointing. The need anointing to discern the person, what the need of the person, and also when a person talk, one, one aspect is to learn to listen to the person. One aspect is spiritually discern what is the need of the person. And then we can respond to the person. And then uh, the wisdom, the word of wisdom, to say the right word to the person. And to listen to the feeling of the person. To grow in ability to listen. Now, 
My wife is a very gentle woman. From time to time, now we always communicate in a positive way, words of love a lot of times. But once in a while, she will tell me things I need to improve. Then I need the anointing of humility. Yes. She told me how to listen to people. She told me how I miss something when someone says something. She told me. But she told me in a very gentle way. So she has the gift of being gentle. And then I, God gave me the gift of being humble. I listen to her and I say, thank you. I'll pay attention to that. And then she would, and then she's finished. She won't keep saying, yeah. you need yeah. to listen more, you need to do this, you need to do that. She won't continue. <laughs> she's not worthy. <laughs> she would, when I understand it, when I say, sorry, I'll pay attention to it later, uh, next time, then she's satisfied and she let go. So that's a gift of uh, letting go. And then for me, gift of humility. And then I listen, the ability to listen also has the gift, the spiritual gift of listening and responding to the needs of people. And a, and a spiritual gift of gentleness. When you, I, I'm not, uh, you know, talking about myself. I'm just talking about God's work in me. I think you can sense gentleness when you see me. That, that's a gift also. That when you have the gentleness flowing out. I thank God for that. It's not me. It's God giving me the gentleness. So you need that gentleness. And uh, also, even when people reject you, you're still gentle. Like sometimes, you know, gave out tracts or trying to do evangelism. And someone says, I don't want it. And then I said, it's okay. Yeah. I said, it's okay. I don't say anything negative. I yeah. just say, it's okay. And then the word of knowledge is another gift. That the more you listen to God, the, the more you sense people's needs. And then you, you ask God whether it's right to say it. And the best way to say it is not to say, God told me you have this problem. Yeah. Yeah. But to say, if we have burdens in our heart, God is happy to take away the burdens if we have the burdens in the heart. Because that's true for many people. So we, we ask God. And very often when I pray for people, I ask God too, should I stop now? And, and the moment when I have this thought, I think it's God putting that thought in me. It is too long. It's a prayer too long for the non-believer. So that is listening to God. And then... Um, also, we can work with people who have this word of knowledge. Some of you would have this gift stronger than others. And so you can work together in a team. People who receive words from the Lord can work together in a team. But these people should not be proud. God just used people differently. People, different people have different gifts. And then the, the gift of anointing, the spiritual gift of anointing, and also the spiritual gift of accepting failure when you pray for people and they said I haven't experienced anything and you say it's okay <laughs> that that uh, spiritual gift of being humble and then when a person is willing to believe in Jesus that spiritual gift of being able to follow up, follow up on them to help them spiritually to grow so we need anointing in every area and also we need the anointing of joy when you do witnessing, you need to be filled with joy and smiling. If you are very sad and you tell people, I used to be sad, but now Jesus set me free. And the person says, you're not so happy. <laughs> you're not so free. So we need the fruit of the Holy Spirit to change our life. So we all need the whole work of the Holy Spirit in our whole life. The anointing of, the, of God in our whole life. So we pay attention to what God has done in my life and say, thank God that God has changed me in this direction. And also the discernment. What do I need to grow more? How, in what area do I need to grow more? And then, we, and then we're willing to submit to God to help ourselves to grow more. So this is, this is helping a whole person to grow. As I said yesterday, we need to grow in the spirit. We need to grow in the mind. We need to grow in the will. 
We need to grow in the feelings so that we are free with feelings. As I said, in the childhood, I did not laugh that much because in my family, it was always yelling and beating. Then I grew up from in that family, but God healed my hurt feelings and give me more and more joy. So that's not natural in me. And if I can experience joy, you too. That I can let go of my hurt feelings in the past, let go of burdens in the past. So we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit in all this. Mm -hmm.